So you want to be a virtual assistant and not know where to start or what it is? Well, this is the video for you. So make sure you stay tuned. First, if you're new here, I am Ashley Tess. And remember on this channel, I help you find ways where you can start making money online and start working from home. So if those two things sound good for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you never miss a video. So what is a virtual assistant? Well, it is where someone is doing online tasks for either businesses or professionals or, or any type of different types of tasks that they need help with, especially including social media, administrative work, receptionists. You could be responding to emails. You can be making appointments. You can be booking trips for businesses or professionals. You can be uploading uh, products for e-commerce businesses. You can be doing a whole variety of different things, but that is kind of what a virtual assistant is in a tiny little nutshell. Money, money, money. How much does a virtual assistant make? Well, it usually depends on experience, but as a beginner and if you're first starting out, you can imagine to be making between 10 to $15 an hour, but with more experience and more you know, word of mouth, more of your portfolio, you can be making between 20 to 30 an hour or even more based on, you know, all the different tasks you are doing with more experience showing that you deserve that hourly rate. So let me show you some the best websites out there to get started as a virtual assistant, especially for beginners. This first one is called vickyvirtual.com and on this website, you are mostly doing phone calls for small businesses and professionals where you're answering questions, making appointments. Uh, this one, you don't have a lot of requirements for except to be a US citizen, live in the US, to have a reliable computer and internet. And with Vicky Virtual, the pay is at $10 an hour, but this one is a kind of a good one for beginners, especially if you enjoy talking on the phone and doing customer service. 247virtualassistance.com is another website you can get started as becoming a virtual assistant. And on this website, they have different, different tasks depending on uh, the skill sets that you have. So maybe you are better with customer service, maybe you enjoy typing, maybe you enjoy doing social media. So they have different tasks depending on your skill set. Skill set. Which is good. And maybe also make sure you update your resume because if you speak another language, they have a variety of different languages that you can work with. So that's a good thing. And they also uh, have it as a part-time position. So the hours can range between 20 hours a month all the way up to 120 hours a month. The pay is 10 to $12 an hour. So this is also kind of like a beginner entry level as a virtual assistant. So take a look at 24-7 virtualassistance.com. Pardon the interruption. But if you are getting value from this video and you are enjoying it, please make sure you give it a like, hit that like button. Thank you so much. And we will get back to the video. Delegated.com is another option. And with this one, they have front office, like taking appointments. They also have back office positions, like doing data entry, setting appointments, uh, responding to emails. And they also have uh, where you are doing personal tasks for either businesses or professionals. So that is another thing with delegated.com. The requirements is to have a college degree and have a little bit of administrative work experience in the past. Uh, so make sure you put that on your resume when you are applying. And they do provide training, which is helpful. The pay is up to $16 an hour. Another website is called fancyhands.com. And this website has a variety of tasks you can do and they kind of pay you per task rather than kind of like an hourly rate. So that is a little bit different with fancy hands. 
So the different things that you could do with fancy hands is doing internet research, you could do being phone appointments or computer or data tasks, and which is nice they have it where it's 24 seven, so you can make your own flexible schedule. So maybe you're a night owl and you wanna work at 3 a.m. I don't know, I used to do it, not my thing. But if you do, they have flexible hours with fancyhands.com. So per task, you can make between $3 up to $7 per task. So remember, a task might not take you an hour, so you might be able to do more tasks in an hour. So don't let that rate scare you with that one. That one actually might make you a little bit more than some of the others, depending how fast you complete tasks. So fancyhands.com, and they also pay you every other week. <laughs> so fancyhands.com is another option. Where are all my phone people at? Maybe you enjoy talking on the phone, answering phone calls, setting up appointments, transferring calls. So this one is called gabbyville.com and that is exactly what you'd be doing with this website. This one is all about the phone, being a phone virtual assistant where you're taking calls in for businesses or professionals and kind of setting appointments, taking messages for them. So this one, uh, they don't have many requirements which is nice they do offer english and spanish which is also very good and the pay is between 10 to 15 an hour so look at gabbyville.com one of my favorites is called virtualgalfriday.com but with this one they are one of the oldest websites listed here meaning they have a lot of experience they can be trusted and they have a variety of different options if you are looking to become a virtual assistant. So maybe you are interested in working with a certain field, like the medical field, legal field, maybe you wanna do bookkeeping. So with Virtual Gal Friday, they have different options to be an assistant for those different types of jobs. So maybe you wanna be a legal assistant, medical assistant, uh, maybe you still wanna do receptionist work. So they have, variety of different options. So make sure you go check that one out and see all the options they have for you. Uh, pay is also based on your experience, but it can range between uh, $12 all the way up to $20 an hour. So this one is probably one of my favorites because they have a variety of different options and they do pay you pretty decently. So go check that one out, Virtual Gal Fridays. This next one is called searchwall.com. This is a very demanding and selective company. So they are looking for people that have uh, experience in administrative work, as well as having a college degree. Uh, so they are kind of very selective with who they choose. But if you feel like you have the experience and feel like you want to try to check it out, virtual.com. They also have uh, different things that you can do as a virtual assistant, you know, the basic you know, uh, typing skills, data entries, different software that you're working with. So with Zertual.com, you are also uh, be included as a independent contractor. So different than some of the other companies, but they pay also between 12 to 20 an hour with this one based on your experience. So also, if you feel like you wanna check it out, look at virtual.com. So I wanted to give a couple more options where that are kind of like job boards where they have different jobs posted based around different companies or the different type of virtual remote jobs. Maybe you have different skill sets. So this one is called remote.co and this website is just like a big job board where they post different virtual remote jobs. They have a lot of virtual assistant jobs on there. They have also different remote positions that maybe you're qualified for and maybe you're interested in doing. You could, you could do a quick search with them as well. And it will show you the requirements. It will show you their pay rate. So remote.co is another good website if you're looking for remote type jobs, but uh, they also have virtual assistant jobs on there. 
Another website you could get started with becoming a virtual assistant is using Upwork.com. I'm sure many of you heard of this website, but with using Upwork, you can make a profile, show off your skill set, and kind of make your portfolio based off what you're really good at doing and showcase your skills on that website. Uh, you might want to set set your hourly rate based off how you feel. So that's also a good thing with using Upwork. You can choose your hourly rate. Uh, but remember as a beginner, you know, you're still building your skill set. Once you have that experience, you can start asking for more of an hourly rate based off what you've been learning and what you've been offering. And then you can also start reaching out to people and different uh, companies as well using social media. Uh, especially using LinkedIn if you make a profile on there show off all your skills as a virtual assistant reach out to them showcasing maybe you want to make a profile maybe you want to make a website showing all the different things that you can do so if this video has given you value and you enjoyed it please make sure you give it a like if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button down below and you can keep on learning all about making money online and working from home. And if you also are interested, check out these videos listed on the side. I will see you in those.